Welcome to Season 7 of the Fictional Franchise on APF2K8. Uh, welcome to the video. This is going to be a different video. I'm going to try to do this in every season after this. It's going to be hard though. Um, don't look at the ranks on each of these things. but Because uh, it, it will change throughout the year. But we're going to look at every single team we're facing at the, in the schedule. And then we're going to look at the very end our team now the first team we're facing is the crusaders who have a very interesting team a very offensive heavy team with their star guard russell grimsey uh and then they have mice washington uh at d tackle one of the best d tackles in the league at edge they have tyson garrison number 90 and then their other third or I guess their fourth star quarterback Rashawn Derricks who's having multiple seasons of success and are, are and the team is starting to grow here uh the pros of this team like I said future success they're going to be great and the cons are their failing defense uh they have a rank of a four offense with a two defense now for the next team the Hawks they have star linebacker Von Bruce Stanley Haley at receiver, guard Don Oliveira, and quarterback Ismail Baggett uh, to start for them. Uh, their pros is their top tier linebacking core. Their linebacking core is stacked. And the cons are their below average roster. They really just don't have a lot of star players. Like Stanley Hale will not be a silver for any other team. Uh, they are ranked with a three offense and a two defense. Uh, they really need to make some changes, and I feel like the Wolves have a big chance, an easy chance to beat this Hawks team. Now with the Firebirds, is the you know it's a the third uh, team we're facing this year, and they have Justin Jones, one of the best middle linebackers in the league. They have Brian Cherry, a great strong safety, Sherman Hickson from the Gladiators and Neve Watts, our former quarterback. Their pro is that they have an explosive offense. They can run, they can pass, they're insane. Uh, their cons is their inconsistent pass rush. They can they can get home sometimes, but not all the time. They're ranked with a four offense out of five and a three defense out of five. Uh, that game is going to be a very uh, interesting game to go against them. And I think it's going to be very tough for the Wolves. Next are the Walleyes with their young offense and their awful pass defense. Their star is Donnell Childress starting at DN who wreaks havoc on every team. Then their new rookie wide receiver Perry Pollock, number 86, a deep threat that another star, quarterback Terrence Thomas, needs. Uh, Thomas has an arm let me tell you he can throw it 100 yards on his knees you know while chewing bubble gum he's amazing and then there's strong safety april or abe april sorry who used to be with chicago years ago who is now with the walleyes um who has been with the walleyes for a few years uh that's gonna be a tough game in the division we have to face them twice the next team is the blackbirds the Blackbirds are going to be very, very tough um, with their big play defense and their anemic offense. It it's going to be it's going to be a rough game for the Wolves since they have free safety Murray Calloway, who's you know top defensive player of the year candidate every year. Ty Douglas, who's a top middle linebacker every year. Kerry Javo, who's a top CB already, and Christian Freeman, a top DE, and another few like pass rushers it's insane uh caustic is a big problem with this team though at quarterback they are given a two offense and a five defense one of the best defenses in the league not if the best next team is the sailors uh their pros is the coaching they have one of the best coaching staffs in the league and their cons is they're starting to have a lack of stars they have jess strain who's been starting middle linebacker for 10 plus years you got sanford robinson an amazing route runner free safe free safety uecbo butterfield who's been a good free safety and leonard cooks has now moved to the sailors uh or it's going to be moving possibly in the future i think he actually has been on the sailors for a while um but they just don't have a lot of stars and because of rick tempest leaving 
Their offense is going to go from a 4 to a 3, and their defense is staying at a 3. Uh, tough game for the Wolves there. Next game is the Griffins, who have to face Rick Tempest, Her Thurman Herman, one of the best receiving backs ever in this league, free safety Hugo Reyes, who is an amazing coverage safety, and Sean Byram, who, Shaw Byram, Byram, sorry, who is a great coverage safety who can hit hard. The pros to this team is the best O-line in the league. They do. They have a gold at every position except for center, who is, I think, a bronze. And then their cons is their lack of speed with Adam Noble. Thurman Herman's fast, but he's out of the backfields, so, like, it kind of is a, is a mixed bag. Rick Tempest isn't fast anymore, but because of Rick Tempest, their offense goes to a four, and they have the worst defense in the league with a one. Giants now. We have to face the Giants, and their team is awful. After losing Al Frills, after using Jack West, after losing uh, Murray, this team is deflated. With Audric Normandy, luckily, at tackle, but then Stefan Cardenas, who's not amazing. Our former running back, Brady Vaughn, is starting for them. And then Justin At Atkinson is their quarterback. Now, Brady Vaughn here... Uh, it starts with the Hogs at the beginning of the year, and you will see that in the future, he ends up on the Giants with a trade. Uh, I know that's a little bit of a spoiler, but oh well. They get a 3 offense and a 2 defense. Here we are with the Guardians now. The Guardians, after having a great uh, off season, have Joseph Jacquez, which, again, great pickup for them. Uh, Thompson Terry... Bubba Buckner and uh, Christopher Snell, a uh, great defense for this team. Um, they have a great run game that is explosive with Kyle Weeman, but Weeman is falling off, as you see as their con. He is not the same quarterback he even was a couple years ago with the Firebirds, so because of that, their offense is now a 3 and their defense is a 4. Uh, the Guardians are always a tough team to face against with the Wolves. I don't know exactly what the Wolves can do against the Guardians. And now with the flight. Um, as you see here, uh, they have Maril Mary at uh, starting D-end. And I believe their starting quarterback uh, is a, a backup quarterback. I'm, his name is esca escaping me here. Um, in the future, they possibly maybe get Cameron Scalone. Uh, but their biggest star, I think, is Mar Maril Mary and Tiny Smith, who is amazing. He's a safety at linebacker, basically. And they have a stout pass rush with a horrible pass coverage. So they're going to be given a three offense and a three defense. It's going to be hard to face uh, the flight there. Now next, the Warthogs. They have Alfonso Smart at center, Brock Crane at D-tackle, Shelby Woodley Jr. going into his second season, and middle linebacker Blake Brooking. They have a future star quarterback, but this team is just not great. They really need some help, and their horrible run game really needs some help too. They just drafted an amazing quick running back, but we need to see how that works out for this team because I really don't see them doing amazingly this year. I think they might tank and try to get a really good pick for next year and get Shelby Woodley up there. But yeah, that's going to be a hard game, especially facing our former D-tackle, Brock Crane. Now, Chicago, uh, who is now not the violence, they're the Chicago football team. They have our former running back, Houston Witt, who has become a goal player for them. Arthur Mansfield, starting DB. Uh... Logan Overstreet, who's destroying O-lines, and our former wide receiver, Davon Kenny. Uh, they are given a 4 offense and a 4 defense. Their pros is an explosive running game with Houston Witt. He gets an inch, he turns it into a mile. And the con is inconsistency. It's getting that inch that they have a hard time with. Sometimes, they can open up a foot, and he goes. And other times, he, Elroy Maple like overthrows or throws like 10 picks. It, it, it's very uh, inconsistent. And now for the championship winning Redcoats, we face them near the end of the season. And we have to face Carter Cantwell, Austin Stewart, Robin Mathis, Malcolm Waters. Their pros is a young, explosive quarterback play. He is 
awesome in the pocket. He can sling the ball and he recovers perfectly. He's going to be a star in this league. The con is their boomer bust defense. They have a good defense. It's just sometimes they're too aggressive and they can just bust and become horrible. Um, they're given a four on offense and a three on defense. Uh, they're very a unique team uh, with, with waters and that, but I think the Wolves can take them, but it's going to be really hard for those Wolves, especially because they really haven't made any moves. And you look here, the Wolves, we get to talk about our team, starting with Chris Young at quarterback, who won MVP two years in a row with, with Offensive Player of the Year, two years in a row. Marion Ray, Denny Parr, and Edge Rashad Gavin. Uh, Gavin is coming off of an amazing season. He might have a slow start this year, especially because apparently he was injured. Um, he played through an injury, but he got surgery, so we'll see how he does. Uh, their pro is their offensive and defensive playmaking. They can make anything happen, and their con is their lack of consistency. They are given a four offense and a four defense. And that will finish this video for now. I'll see you guys next time with the first game of Season 7, and I'll see you guys then.